There will be some services introduced this year. Commercial services will, will come out in late 2017 uh, that won't be using the standard waveform because the standards aren't finished. The 5G specification work has already started and it's expected to complete by the middle of next year, some portions being done a little earlier. We're anticipating it until a progressive rollout of, of 5G systems. What we have here is a live Nokia 5G system along with our partner Intel who's developed the first CPE. What we're showing is some entertainment use cases that are going to drive the 5G fixed wireless access to the home. So we're pumping 4K video through the system right now and showing that live. And we also enable VR gaming because the low latency of 5G allows us to do this without any delay. This is running live at the 28 gigahertz band and we have a 100 megahertz channel bandwidth here at the moment. Some of the operators are moving very quickly to get to market because there's an opportunity that's really time-based. So they're, they're taking a guess at what this, the 5G waveform is going to look like. They're doing the best to approximate that hardware and they're getting it into the field right away. We absolutely have to nail down the details in 3GPP of exactly what we wish to align and deploy. Every generation we've seen so far, whether it's 2G, 3G, 4G or 5G, has depended on a consensus for global deployment of a critical set of use cases. Coming together to focus on those use cases and focusing on the right core specification will be absolutely essential and is truly the gateway to widespread deployment. I think the most important thing that we as an industry need to do is to make sure that we do it the right way by keeping an open mind also all sorts of possibilities. Considering all the assets that we have in different spectrum types, different sorts of bands, different sorts of techniques that we need. We will have cross-industry collaborations. 5G is attracting uh, interest from many uh, various uh, wide variety of the industries. So it will create a business, new business chance, business opportunity. So it will lead 5G successful. I believe that 5G is going to succeed because it'll create a, a way to deliver movies, HD movies, VR content, some of these things for a fraction of the price of what they do in LTE. And by doing that, we can increase the demand on the network by a factor of 10 and uh, continue making money for the operators. I want to talk to you a little bit about our 5G acceleration services. So these are our services that help operators figure out what is the business case for 5G, what are the new use cases they want to offer help them understand then what implications that has on their network and their operations, and then we help them come up with a plan on how to get there. We actually see success for 5G as being dependent on the creativity and imagination of the engineering staff putting the system together and creating a system that truly has longevity. We're building systems that will take us through the 2020s into the 2030s.